Sinatra, and I am at the Wings Flights of Hope meeting place and pavilion. Wow, do I have a program for you today. We are honoring Ralph Wilson Jr., and we're keeping uh, Jim Kelly and, and our prayers and our thoughts and all of his family. And we have an amazing show for you today. I'm at the tailgating party right behind uh, Rich Stadium, right off of California Road here at the Wings Pavilion where you know Joe DeMarco from Wings Flights of Hope, one of our sponsors, and we'll partner with him and bring you amazing programs so that you know all about free flights, not only if you have a medical condition, but if you're a veteran or a compassion flight. Man, get those papers and pens ready and actually get a glass of water or maybe even a toast because we're going to toast Ralph Wilson Jr. But before we do so, we're going to hear from our sponsors today because we're so grateful to them because of them they helped keep this program on the air and you know Matty Mattress Matthew Sauer from Mattress and More we're still trying to get him down to the studio to tape his little spot to say hello to you and let it let you know how important it is what you're sleeping on every night but we're gonna hear from the rest of our sponsors now Electronic Merchant Systems is proud and honored to bring you such creative educational television as Your Health Matters. We believe in We Educate and You Decide. Hi, I'm Michelle Jambardino from Face Fitness Skin Care, a proud sponsor of Health Matters. We take pride in educating you on anti-aging solutions to help you obtain healthy, glowy skin. Continue to watch because your health matters. Joe, it is so great to be back here with you again. Yeah, it's so exciting to be here for the memorial for Ralph Wilson. Yes, and I love being at your place all the time. This place is amazing. What you're doing with Wings Flights of Hope and then the Wings Pavilion and this amazing uh, tailgating party. Yeah, there's so many people here today, even people who lived in Orchard Park here that used to drive by this place all the time. and never knew what was back here. So uh, it's great for people to learn more about what Wings is, you know, what we do with Wings and learn about the facility because um, people want to use the facility. It's for rent. You make a donation to Wings and it's a great situation. Wings, you know, gets a donation and people get to have a beautiful place to have a party, a family reunion. If somebody wants to have a graduation party, we have a couple weddings planned this summer. Wow. And it's always so much fun, whether it's the middle of winter. Like this morning, I woke up, look at me, I thought I was going to be traveling to, to the South Pole. It was so cold. Yeah, yeah. And all the snow we got. But it seems like well, your that's Buffalo. Angels. I think everybody in Buffalo is used to the weather. You don't know what you're going to get from one day to the next. I don't usually complain, but I did complain a little this morning when I Oh, that's no. Yeah, well, it's been a long winter, so everybody's <laughs> about about finished with that. But well, I think all of your angel wings created yeah, the, all this blue, beautiful blue Yeah, the blue angels, sky. the angels came out and helped us today. But what a tribute to Ralph Wilson, the yeah. people coming out today, and I think so many of the fans just just so thankful for what Ralph has done with the team and keeping a team in Buffalo. And I think everybody knows that, you know, I'm sure he had many opportunities to make a lot of money and move the team somewhere, but he made a pledge and a promise to keep the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo, and he did just that. He honored his word. Right. You know, and that, was, that I have to say that that's what reminds me of you. You know, you you and your wife are doing so much for the community and, and all that you're doing. I mean, you are literally saving lives. So when you talk about, you know, having your event here at the Wings Pavilion and being able to support you at the same time, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, it's, and, uh, you know, this kind of all tied in. All the, all the money raised today was for uh, Hunter's Hope. I think... I think we're being outstaged by the fire trucks, yeah. but they're saying goodbye to us. <laughs> Everybody's going by and honking and beeping and doing all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, but today to tie in the event with for Hunter's Hope and uh, my wife uh, Diane was sending a lot of uh, pictures and uh, video of what was going on here and. Uh, Jill was keeping us posted. That Jim was in his, you know, and he's in New York, and you know, we're a place where he can get better. And he was just uh, in tears, seeing the support and a '97 Rock fan here with all the fans signing to get well card for him. And you know, for a lot of people uh, learning about wings and and uh, and getting a better understanding. You know, when we took Jim out on this trip, there were a lot of people that were saying like, "Oh, I didn't, know, you know, why why is wings flying Jim Kelly?" 
you know, Jim can afford a flight, but people don't understand it's not about what you could afford, it's about the condition of the patient. We brought Jim down on Monday for his checkup down there. I mean, he came right from ECMC and he was not feeling well. There was no possible way he was gonna go get on a regular flight, go through security, deal with the terminal and all that, then have to return it on his way home. You know, our volunteer pilot was there waiting for him. Five minutes they were in the air, an hour they were in New York, and we had ground transportation to take them right to Lenox Hospital. And you know, that's the difference between life and death. If you had to do commercial flights, and commercial flights and are germs, great. Yeah, the germs yeah. alone, it's not healthy. Healthy people, when they fly commercially, end up getting oh, sick. Oh, so, tell me about it. Yeah, so it's really not an option for anybody with any kind of immune, uh, compromised immune system, or just someone who's not feeling well. Like, right, right. you know, he, uh, you know, we got him there and we got him back, and then on Friday was, uh, Friday morning, they were uh, scheduling his surgery for the following Wednesday, and you know, Wings was all prepared, ready to go. And then within an hour from there, uh, his medical team decided they want him in New York immediately, ASAP. And you know, uh, you know, a pilot came up, picked him up, wow. and got him there right away Friday night. And you know, it's been so nice that I've been able to follow you on Facebook because I know you have a Facebook page. Yeah, the Facebook's been a great, great uh, tool for Wings because a lot of people in our community and nationwide have a hard time believing there's volunteer pilots. I know. It just doesn't add up. <laughs> volunteer pilots are going to fly people for free in the middle of the night for transplants or whatever it might be. So the Facebook page, you know, we're over 7,000, I don't think 200 fans right now, but every wow. day they see the pictures and. I mean, the Facebook went crazy with Jim, you know, when, when uh, Wings was able to help Jim Kelly. I think we had 57,000 visits wow. to, the, to the page. So I'm surprised you didn't crash Facebook. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's been a great way for people to follow yeah. what we do and also to get the real feel of what it means to the family. Right. You know, as a volunteer pilot, we talk a lot, and I tell you how rewarding it is to take someone to a place where they can get better and why the pilots do it, you know, because we like to fly, you meet people. and We see people where they're at an option, a point in their life where they don't have many options, they're told nothing right, can be done for right. them. And uh, we see the courage the fa that the, the, the patients have. They're not ready to give up the fight. So, I mean, our pilots and wings becomes instrumental in their fight to survive. So we'll take them wherever they need to go, as many times as they need to go. There's a young man we're flying from Rochester right now, and we're seven Fridays in a row now he's going to uh, Sloan Kettering in New York. Just last week we were there three times, and um, I was kind of excited to have Thurman Thomas along on the way back. Um, we brought uh, Jim Kelly's mother-in-law and his daughter out. They had a cancer patient going that way, so they tagged along. And um, on the way back, Bruce, or, um, Thurman, they got the real feel for what it meant to be to be helping someone. You know, Thurman and Jim Kelly, they knew a little bit about wings, but they really didn't understand it. I mean, right. Jim and Jill right now are so thankful right. because it means so much to them. But Thurman got to fly back and hear this uh, young man's story. Wow. He's fighting cancer and his wife got diagnosed wow. with cancer. They're a 26-year-old couple. and. They're so just uh, impressed with the whole thing. I think we have them as supporters now also. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, every time I see a picture on your Facebook page, I am so happy that I can just share my love and my prayers by posting a like, posting a little heart, saying a little prayer. And it does, you're right, it makes me feel closer to you, closer right. to them, and because prayer really matters. It really right. helps when yeah, you... Yeah, there's so many people praying for Jim now, and uh, I mean, he needs it. He's got the fight of his life. and. If anybody's seen any of the pictures, I mean, you know, Jim is one of the toughest quarterbacks I think ever played the game. I mean, he was in games where he was getting pummeled and didn't even know what day it was, and he stayed in there and kept playing. He never came out of the game. He was just a tough guy, and now, you know, you see the look on his face, and he's got a tough battle, but he'll pull through. He's got all the prayers and everybody in Western New York and his faith, and I believe he's in a place. He's in a great place in New York, so, you know, where he can get better. Awesome. So I'm going to walk around and enjoy the tailgating party. And I hear that you have hit and run here. Yeah, hit and run. And we're excited that Russ Brandon and Scott from the Buffalo Bills are here. And ah. uh, uh, we're really happy that they're able to come out and speak to the fans and uh, and be a whole part of the whole thing. Yeah, that's awesome. And I love, like I said, I love this big jumbo. I know you always talked about it, but I think I might come when I'm not watching the games from home or at the stadium. Yeah, come I'm coming here yeah, and watch the it's, like tail, it's just like tailgating being at the game and uh, you have fun here. We have an open bar and it's a it's a very nice facility. And lots of food and you yeah. even got food trucks here and I think I see Just Pizza over yeah, there too. Yeah, Just Pizza and I got to thank a lot of the people just stepped up to the plate here. What I got a call on a Thursday about 1230 about this event a couple days later and uh, Indigo uh, Productions came out, did the sound, uh, hit and run, played for free. Uh, Just Pizza's here. Uh, Izzy from uh, Labatt's is donating Labatt's beer. 
It's just uh, everybody and, uh, coming together. Carol Russo Carol from 97 Russo. Rock. Yep, and everybody coming together just to make it a, uh, a beautiful tribute to Ralph. Well, I'm going to try to make my way through that crowd and go all say right. hello to it's a, a little few busy people. Here. All and right. thank you, Joe. Thank, thank you for you. all that you do. All right, thanks a lot. All right. So we're here to, uh, as you know, to celebrate the life of uh, Mr. Wilson, and it looks like you might be a Bills fan. Oh, just a little bit, since birth, you know, since I ever I could walk. <laughs> and you guys know about uh, uh, Jim Kelly and Wings Flights of Hope, uh, being able to help him out? Yeah, I think it's a great organization, a great group of people, and uh, obviously Jim's a great guy. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're keeping him in our prayers. And tell me a little bit about today. How much fun have you had? It's a blast. It's a blast just to be here. All the Bills fans coming together to celebrate such a such a great man that uh, did such a such a wonderful thing for the community for so many years. It's been amazing. Yeah, and we've had music by Hit and Run, and, and we've seen a lot of the Bills people here. And did you see any Bills players? Oh, I haven't seen any players. It was it was awesome to see Russ show up, though. Russ Brandon showed up, and uh, I think he put a little life back into the Bills fans, and uh, it's, it was amazing to see him speak, and uh, he put a lot of encouragement back in us. So. Uh, that's awesome. So what do you want to say for encouragement for Jim today? Just get well. Best wishes, positive energy all the way towards your way. So yeah. just get well soon, man. And how about a hoorah for Mr. Wilson? Hoorah, Ralph. He kept the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. We're excited to have the Buffalo Bills. Obviously, Ralph Wilson was a great pioneer and uh, one of the great men of the NFL and a great member of our community. And he'll forever be remembered. And uh, thank you for everything you've done over the years. And um, certainly, we look forward to the years to come. Uh, all right. Yay, Bills fans! Gotta love these Buffalo Bills fans! Hoorah! Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Carol, it's always so nice to see you out here, always supporting Wings Flights of Hope. 97 Rock, man, everywhere I go, I see you! Oh, yeah, they can always count on me. It's, you know, I mean, the Joey and Diana, Wings Flights of Hope, and Joey Jr., they're always so ready to give of themselves. Yeah. Somebody needs something, anything, you know. I mean, their normal realm is, okay, we'll fly you here, get you some medical treatment, you know, fly you there. This is like something totally different. I know. Isn't you know, this amazing? The, the guys from the, the Bills Mafia and uh, over at the Hammer Lot, they wanted to do this. And then come to find out their lot was a giant mud pit. Oh, so boy. they said, hey, use our lot. No problem. What else? You want a band? We'll get hit and run. You want food trucks? We'll take care of that, too. You know, wow. so uh, they need a little support. That's where I come in, you know. Yeah. Sure, I'll get it on the air. I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll get your vehicle here. We'll broadcast live. We'll make it's it been an amazing night, like uh, day, all day long. I mean, this tailgate party. I see people, like lots oh, of people, man. all the way back. It was supposed to be, you know, scheduled for one to five. People were getting here, you know, this morning, you know, at <laughs> like 10:30 in the morning. Uh, the diehards were here early, and then, you know, the afternoon came, and it's a steady stream of traffic coming in. People are having a good time. There wasn't a lick of trouble. Well, some girl got stuck in the mud, but I mean, other than that. <laughs> and you know what? Look at how I dressed. I was going to open the show by saying live from the South Pole because <laughs> it was snowing good this morning. Uh, you know, I was going to ride my Harley down here. You know? I was all set. <laughs> I started it up yesterday, and then the snow came overnight and ruined everything. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we had a lot of snow today, but look at this. The sun is shining. You know? It's a beautiful day. It is. We, you know, you couldn't ask for a better day. And then, and then the guys from the Buffalo Bills actually show up. Uh, you know, General Manager Russ Brandon, uh, Scott Birch told the uh, public relations come over and address the crowd and thanked everybody. We had a 
moment of silence, a flyover. It's, yeah. you know. Yeah, that was pretty amazing because we do, we want to keep sending our prayers out to Jim and Jill Kelly, their whole family. They're amazing people. Yeah, we, you know, we have the Jim Kelly Get Well card that uh, everybody's been signing, and actually we've had to keep adding extra pages onto it because uh, we've had a steady stream. We have had a line of people, you know, all day here since we got here signing the card. So, uh, yeah, I got to make sure I sign that card too. Maybe you'll walk me over there, or do I have to stand that long line? No, no, we'll get your right in, kid. Don't worry about anything. If they can't smell your qualifications, I just don't get it. <laughs> so, we want to say thank you, Ralph Wilson Jr., for keeping the bills in Buffalo. Yes. And thank you to Joe and Diane DeMarco from Wings Flights of Hope and at your wonderful Wings Pavilion. And thanks to the Bills Mafia and the Hammer Crew and and all the fans. Yeah, are all the out here fans. Yeah. Thank tribute to Ralph. Yeah. You know. Great memories. Absolutely. Way to go, Buffalo. It's not hard to find Buffalo Bills fans. Woo! Man, what a blast we're having here at the Wings Pavilion. Wings Flights of Hope. Thank you, Joe and Diane DeMarco. You guys are amazing people. Tell me about how much fun you've had today. I'm just having an amazing time. You know, it's a great opportunity for us to let Ralph know that we're here for him like he was here for us leaving the Bills in Western New York. Oh, awesome. And what about your favorite moment today? The moment was the weather that we didn't prevail with it and uh, we showed up and hey, we're here for Ralph. Go Ralph. Yeah, Go Ralph. yeah. And how about you? What was your favorite moment today? The memorial, little verbal memorial they did inside. I thought it was a really personal message. Everybody came together to celebrate an important man. Yeah, and we're remembering Jim Kelly too. They're going to let me cut the line so I could uh, sign Jim's card. And I just thank you all so much. And Jim, Jill, Kellys, we want you to know you're in our prayers continuously. We love you. Oh, this is so exciting here at the Wings Pavilion. And I'm so excited to be sitting here with Joe, and he's got a few guests that he wants to introduce you to and have a little talk with. Yeah, we're uh, so excited to have a tailgate party here in honor of Ralph Wilson, and it's held today at the Wings Pavilion. And we had uh, Scott and Russ came out from the Buffalo Bills, and the fans were so excited that they came out, and it's just so exciting to see uh, all the people come out and pay tribute to Ralph Wilson for everything he's done for our community and everything he's done to keep uh, the Buffalo Bills right here in Buffalo. So I'm going to pass it over to Scott and uh, Russ and they can have a, say a few words. I'm actually going to have Russ say a few words on our behalf. I just want to thank everyone involved. It's been an incredible experience today to be here, to be amongst our fans. The tribute and the respect given to Ralph Wilson, what Mr. Wilson has done for not only our community, but for professional football, yeah, obviously the AFL and the NFL, the respect that our fans have and the passion that they have is immeasurable. And that was the passion that Mr. Wilson had for this region, for this community, and our fan base. It's, a, it's, it's an unbelievable marriage of two of Mr. Wilson and our fans that just love football and love Bills football. I will also be remiss if I did not mention the DeMarco family, all they've done for, for, the, for Wings of Hope, all they're doing for the community. It's very similar and parallel to what Mr. Wilson has done. Everything is about giving back, and that's what we're about in the Buffalo Bills organization, and we will continue to fulfill his legacy and tribute to everything that he's done, and we appreciate it so much. Thank you. Yeah, and we're uh, excited to be able to help Jim Kelly out. Um, a lot of people didn't realize what Wings is about, that we're there just to help people get wherever they need to go. It doesn't matter on you know if you can afford a flight. And I think just helping Jim has is, is opened such a big door of opportunity for so many more patients that have called for flights. And uh, you know we're there to get people wherever they need to go and get them to the best place where the best care is available. I'll just, I'll just start out by saying that our thoughts and prayers are with Jim and his family. 
For those of us who have known Jim Kelly for so long, uh, we know what an incredible human being he is. Obviously, he's one of our favorite people in the world. He's certainly our favorite quarterback in the world. And what he means to our organization and our fan base is just immeasurable. And just want everybody to know out there, our thoughts and prayers are with him. We're pulling for Jimmy. We know he's strong. He's Kelly strong. And that says a lot when it comes to fighting something like this. And uh, uh, Jimmy, we're thinking about you, bud. JK number 12 is our leader. He is, like Scott said, he is Kelly Strong. We know what he means not only to our community, to our region, to professional football, what he's given back to not only New York State, all the work that he and Jill have done throughout the country with Crab A's disease in honor of their son Hunter. We love you, Jim. We know you're going to beat this. And go Bills. As Jim would always say, go Bills. Okay, so who do I introduce first? Al from Hit and Run, the Buffalo Bill, or the Buffalo Bill? Are you Buffalo Bill? Yeah, Andre Reed, can't you tell? <laughs> you don't look like Andre Reed. I do now after I got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Look what happened to me. <laughs> All right. We got Al from Hit and Run. Man, you guys sounded awesome Thank today. You. Were you rocking or what? We're proud to be here today. Uh, it was a privilege to be asked to do this. And this is what it's all about, yeah. Buffalo Bills. I've been doing a lot for the Bills for many years. And I know that, aren't you the uh, band that plays at the uh, Hamburg Fairgrounds Absolutely when Wings Fly to Hope? That was all part of this whole negotiation. We got the call. Absolutely. We wanted to donate our time today for this event. That's so amazing. And you bring so much love and fun and energy fun. to the group. That's the whole thing. It's yeah. all fun. You know, the people come out and we have a good time. Because you got to celebrate. You know, we're celebrating Ralph Wilson Jr.'s um, life and the legacy that he's shared here in Buffalo and keeping the Buffalo Bills here. We're so happy. Absolutely. All the Bills fans and the great music. Absolutely. We're yeah. glad to be a part of it. Well, I'm going to look forward.